Two new cards are revealed for the new expansion, Rostakon's Rumble. First up is Ticket Scalper, 4 mana, 5-3 neutral pirate with overkill, draw 2. If you don't know what overkill is, you can check out this video. So for this card, there are a few things you need to consider. First off, 4 mana 5-3 traditionally isn't really a great stat line. 4 mana 4-4 four, four is much more consistent because having 4 health is so much better than having 3 health. The second thing to consider with this card is that it is a pirate. Blizzard emphasized that they're going to be having more trolls in this class and they're going to have more pirates and it's going to be about a lot of diverse different tribes. So having a neutral pirate that could get you draw like this one might be something that a pirate deck needs and so it might see play for that. But probably the most appealing part of this card if you're not into trolls is the overkill draw two cards. If you're able to overkill another minion with this card, regardless if this survives or not, it's going to draw you two cards and drawing two cards is crazy value. So the real problem with this card is that its stat line doesn't really help with its overkill requirement. If you play this on turn 4, your opponent just needs to find 3 damage to kill this. And that's not very hard to do. It's only going to be when you're lucky and your opponent doesn't have an answer to this that you'll be able to attack this into something and get the overkill. I think this is a really risky card. If it was 4 mana 4-4, four, four, I think it would be a lot better. But the fact is, a card that has this much power potential with only 3 health is going to be a big target for opponents so if they're able to deal with it, it's often not going to cost them a lot, and it means that your 4 mana play won't really be worth it. I'm guessing it's not going to see any play, but you never really know with Pirate Synergy. Next up is Heavy Metal, 6 mana warrior spell, summon a random minion with the cost equal to your armor, up to 10. Now of course, I don't think it's really as good as Yip, because while it is 2 less mana, you don't have that initial body, and you don't have a threat out on the board that can continue to gain you value. I don't know if this is the case where if you have an already good card and you make one that's just a little bit worse, if that worse version can still be viable. It really depends on whether or not there's a deck that will be able to take advantage of this. This won't work in a Baku deck, so it either needs to be an even warrior or just some warrior that happens to have a lot of armor. If you can consistently get an 8 to 10 drop with heavy metal, then why wouldn't you play it? But the problem is, there might be a lot of aggro decks that will just prevent you from gaining that armor, and instead of getting random value, you'd much rather want to put taunt or removal into your deck. I think it's going to have to be a much slower meta in order for heavy metal to see play. Unless there's some sort of spell synergy they're going to introduce to Warrior, I think Geosculptor Yip is always going to take the place of this card first, and then if even more value is needed, then a control warrior might play heavy metal. That's all for now, until next time, ta-ta. If you do pretty well with a game, you're able to move into a new office space and hire a couple of friends, as well as Sharon. You can do contracts for extra quiche, publishing deals to get more fans, and make the greatest game ever.